Okay, this is video 11. This is on core, core, and more core. This is one muscle group I really don't think you can overdo, um, and it's something that should be done every single day. If nothing else is done, there should be some form of core either prior to or at the end of workout. Okay, these are done with ankle weights. We're going to start with hollow rockers. We're going to just be doing five of each, and usually the number is 20 or 25. So hollow rockers, making sure the low back stays on the floor. Take those right into tuck rockers. And if you make this like a circuit, you're really intensifying muscle endurance. Keep a parallel line from your legs until your arms. And then tuck opens. Full extension. Then pike overs. By the time they finish this whole circuit, we will have accomplished hitting every entire part of the stomach, including the obliques. Then we go to sliders. All of this is also, like I try to make things um, as skill specific as possible. And you'll see that more on different exercises. And again, I focus on areas where we are weak, which is a lot of sitting up on release moves. Next are V-ups. We do, do elbow to knee for a short contraction. There's also arms overhead reaching all the way to the feet. All of these are good. All of these are necessary. And then there's alternate V-ups. All right, and then we do a lot of lower abs. This is a hard area to get. You, you lay down in a pike position, arm side middle, and you wanna try to get the athlete to not move their feet. You can see uh, from this video, there's a line. They should stay on that line as their legs go up. Ready, and lift. See the desire to wanna to go in a little bit in front. You wanna go as much as you can straight up using just the lower abs. You can also then take it more up to a candle position and bring it up and down slower. Up and down, very good. All right, we're gonna switch over to here and we're gonna start with speed sit-ups, arms clasp, and they're done fast instead of controlled. So we're gonna go up, touch the bar, and come back down. Ready, go ahead, five, we'll just do five. Speed, speed, you're almost smacking the arms on the floor so that they can come up fast. Okay, then we have twisting sit-ups. This hits the obliques. Good for twisting and go. Making sure that the elbow comes all the way across and all of this is done with speed. Stalter sit-ups. It's definitely one of my more favorite ones for release moves. Legs are in a small straddle, toes are pointed. Hands are clasped, and the reason that I do the clasp hands is so that when they go to sit up, they bring their head with their arms. Go ahead. Reach all the way up to the toes. A little bit quicker on the reach. Lengthen and quick. And then we scoot back, and we go to full V-ups, as we did over there. Do things both with ankle weights and with wrist weights. You can see these exercises are all done with the wrist weights, and the other girls did theirs with the ankle weights. Go ahead. So the intensity gets put on both sides, not just one. And then we have five V-ups roll over. These are great for pirouetting and twisting. Ready, V-up, and roll over. I'm sorry, there's five V-ups, then they roll over. And then five more V-ups, and then roll over. And then five V-ups. Roll back this way, and thank you.